Here, among the quirky art and antique shops in the heart of Orange, is Matoska Trading Company, a haven for Native American beads, feathers, clothing, and artwork. But the workers aren't just selling trade goods, they sell part of their heritage and culture through words and symbols. One particular employee, a local Native American from the Juaneño tribe, Tyler Vela, is known for his intricate beadwork, which fits perfectly with the trading nature of this store. There was always historical documentation of trading. You know, whether it be trade routes or um, just regional based, you can always find that beadwork is very just tradable or just very loved by different tribes no matter who they are, no matter where they're from. Due to the manual labor and imported products, beadwork prices run high. So Tyler learned to create his own works to show his heritage. I just asked my, my um, family friend, you know, would you mind teaching me how to bead because she had been beading for a few years already as it was. She was like, yeah, sure. So we, we sat at a table and um, she, she showed me how to bead and everything. And it was actually very simple. Beadwork is actually extremely easy to learn. It's, um, people always say, you know, how do you have the patience to do something, you know, to, to do beadwork like this? And I always say it's not patience, it's persistence. According to Tyler, beadwork requires a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But when a project is finished, the process feels very rewarding. So if you can actually see there, it's the start of a petal. So like I said, it's, it's not one continuous line. It's just starting from one point and going down and moving over to start the next line of beads. His projects come from both requests and personal ideas. Designs are inspired by his local tribe and other tribes he visits across the country. Many natives appreciate the universal symbols and themes that every piece consists of. So it's very geometric shape. It's very angular. There's a lot of sharp lines. There's a lot of meaning like teepees or stars or some other tribes used horses or floral. So there's a lot of... Um, love for my type of beadwork amongst those tribes like up north and stuff like that. He often wears his projects to powwows and other gatherings. His ability to make his own beadwork and show it proudly reminds him of the empowerment he finds in being Native American. Um, here I have a beaded cuff. Um, it just kind of looks just like a, a plate of some sorts, but this actually goes around my arm like so. So this is something that I wear when I dance. And again, um, you'll see very geometric patterns, very angular. You know, there's nothing crazy about it. It's just a lot of straight lines, a lot of triangles, diamonds, crosses. However, being a Native American in today's society is not easy. Even though he's proud of his heritage, Tyler acknowledges that pride comes with a lot of pain and pressure. And he condemns others who try to use the heritage for political gain or sympathy. When somebody tries and like claims that they're Native American, it's like, do you really want to be Native? You know, because I can guarantee you if you tried to live a reservation life or you tried to live a life somewhere up north where there's a lot of racism towards Native Americans, you wouldn't want to claim it. You would try and hide the fact that you're Native American because as prideful as we are for being Native and being Indigenous to this land, there's a lot of heavy things that come with that too. Amidst the racism, he fully embraces his roots in American society. While conveying his pride to others, he hopes to gain respect amongst people of varying cultural backgrounds. By continuing his work, Tyler encourages people to come inside and share in his passion of beadwork and Native American tradition, even if they do not share the same heritage.